Guys, today we have our EA Play September packs. And I got four of these, which I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to get one. I'm not sure this is a glitch or an error. Tell me down below if you got more than one, because I thought it was just going to be one. Usually it's just one. I mean, it doesn't mean these packs are going to be that good, but <laughs> just interesting. I was kind of hoping that it was a glitch even more than it is, like, and it just kept refreshing and stuff. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to log out of the game later and see if it, you know, gives me more packs, but... Even if it's a glitch, it's it, it might just be okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say if it's glitch, it might be trash. It is not trash. Okay. I will take that all day, every day. You know, I, I will take it to the bank. I don't know. I I can't rhyme. I'm not, I'm not Eminem. But anyway, though. Um. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting a free, like, 100,000 coins out of this. Usually when I get these packs, they're, like, they're not usually horrendous, horrendous, but usually it's a lot of gold. Whatever, I sell them, I put up in the auction house, not a huge deal. But usually it's not that good. Usually. Okay, last pack here. Okay, and keep in mind, this is for EA Play. It's being part of EA Play's, like, the membership thing. Which, to be honest... Is it really worth it? You do get, like, these packs once a month, which is cool. And you get, like, you know, free stuff, pretty much. I guess free, you're paying for it. And, of course, if you do spend money in Mutt, it is worth it. Obviously, I'm a YouTuber. I spend a lot of money in Mutt. So, like, for example, you get discounts on all your stuff. So, it's, like, one of those situations where it's, like, is it worth it? Probably not overall-wise. you don't spend money on Mutt, probably not. Yeah, you get a free pack once a month. But then there's times that EA doesn't even give you the free pack. Like, there's times that you literally would go on and be like, okay, got a free pack here. This is awesome. No, you don't get anything free because EA Sports decided you don't. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, so let me actually go ahead and do this real fast. I actually want to pick up somebody today. And yes, I did pick up somebody already. You probably just saw the guy who it was. But we're going to be talking about him in a second anyway. So even if you didn't see who it was, uh, you will in a second. All right, so let me sell this card. I'm going to sell him for 85k. He'll probably sell instantly. Um, I don't, yeah, none of these other cards will sell really instantly, but there he is. I got Bo Jackson, guys. So we picked up Bo Jackson out of the new Campus Hero drops. And the reason why is because, whoo, the mother of everything, this card is good. All right, so he does get, I'm gonna go, I can't go freight train right now. I don't have the, uh, cams, uh, cam, uh, training, training to get. That's what I'm trying to say. He gets one, uh, running back apprentice, jukebox, bulldozer. Oh, I haven't looked at his abilities yet. I just looked at his stats. All right, let's compare. So the guy I had before was Fred Taylor. And I like Fred Taylor a lot. But Bo is just pretty much everything Fred Taylor is, plus some. He has great trucking. He has decent catching. Better speed. Better acceleration. Better agility. Better carrying. Uh, actually, worse carrying. A little bit worse carrying. Better change of direction now. So I love this card. I absolutely love it. The second I saw Bo Jackson drop, I was like, yes, I have to pick that up for the squad. Got to get that for the team right now. And if I go over to the auction house real fast, I I don't think that card's gonna sell actually. Those eighty five, those eighty fives already came down in price again. I thought they were gonna kind of stay where they were. They're kind of crazy. Uh, Campus Heroes though. Here's what I'm thinking when it comes to the next upgrade for the squad. For the God Squad here. Um, they're down to 405k. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now. The guy I'm looking for is him. Oh, I thought my card sold. I got the little news the little news bulletin thing. Oh, it didn't sell. Okay. Well, yeah. Sean Taylor is the next guy I'm looking for. And the reason why is because I want to go ahead and stack him up here with Ed Reed on my in my secondary. I got Chancellor and Curl on the uh, left side. Oh, right side. I want to get Sean Taylor on the left side. He was like 456k earlier. He really dropped. And somebody should comment down below and ask me, like, when should I buy cards? Like, when is the best time to buy cards? Should you buy them right when they come out? Should you wait? It's always the best to wait. The longer you can wait to buy a card, the better. The reason why is because cards prices always drop. They always slowly plummet. And you're not going to ever find a card cheaper day one. Trust me, day one, you're going to find the card for the most expensive will ever be in Madden. And then after day one, card prices drop immensely. So overall, other than Ed Reed, 
Uh, he has plus one speed on Ed Reed, plus one play rack, plus 11 tackle, plus six pursuit. He has way worse man coverage. Way, uh, same man uh, zone and a little bit better hit power. So, pretty good player overall wise. But guys, I'm going to be picking him up off video, I guess, because card, I don't think my card's going to sell. Yeah. I don't think my card's going to sell. But I just want to make a quick video there, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Real fast, just to take a look at this. This is what the God Squad's looking like, by the way. Uh, slowly but slowly upgrading. We got Gene Upshaw. Uh, we also got Michael Mayer. Brand new card that just came out. We actually got him from the solo challenges. And, yeah. He pretty nice. Ain't gonna lie to you. He pretty nice. And then secondary, got Prime Time, who also came down immensely in price. We pulled uh, Monte Teo last video. And just all around, there we go. I was kind of hoping and waiting for that card to sell. Not going to lie to you. I was kind of hoping and waiting like, okay, once this card sells, I can actually go ahead and pull up this Sean Taylor. So let's do this now. Let's go ahead and buy him. If There we go. And go to auction and let's get this Sean Taylor. Add him to the squad, back up here to my strong safety, or free safety position. Uh, Campus Heroes. 88s. And let's get my man Sean P. There we are. So, not a bad option. Again, now our safety position, in all honesty, I will say locked down. Probably for the next, like, month or so. At least a month or so. Obviously, cards come out fast, guys. <laughs> Let's see the week starts coming out, you know, speed's going to start coming out, and speed's going to make things change so much in Madden. Now, speed this year is going to be a little bit slower than normal, but still, it's still going to, over time, get, you know, crazy. So, all right, so that's what our secondary is looking like right now. I freaking love our secondary. I'll be honest with you, I absolutely freaking love our secondary. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.